Cuts in New Zealand. I believe it's a very sad day indeed. Mr. Chair. Uh, the Mr. Chair, I want to follow on uh, from the comments made uh, by my colleague Grant Robertson, and he makes some very good points. And I'd like the Minister and the Chair uh, to respond to some of those comments because I'm sure she wouldn't be able to explain to New Zealanders just why Māori and Pacific people have been expunged from this bill and the contribution, the significant contribution that they make uh, towards the identity of New Zealand through arts and culture cannot be understated. But more importantly than that, why is it that the names uh, certainly used by Te Wakatoi cannot be used uh, elsewhere? It just doesn't make sense. And the Minister sits in the chair silently, doesn't take the opportunity to respond, to explain to those people in New Zealand who are very passionate about the arts sector about why Te Wakatoi, that name cannot be used again. Te Wakatoi is more than a name. It's more than an institution. It's about a whole evolution of people who have grown up and nurtured the arts, specifically uh, within the Māori community. And I'm thinking about Elizabeth Ellis uh, and her stewardship uh, of this space. I'm thinking of Te Awe Davis, who made a significant contribution in this area. I'm thinking of Ngāhuia Te Awe Kōtuku. Again, so people who are passionate about arts and culture and heritage and have contributed significantly to nurturing what that looks like uh, over a period of time uh, in New Zealand and nurturing young people within the arts space. Now, when we think about building a national identity, something that all New Zealanders can be proud of, we know that it's Māori and Pacific cultures that contribute significantly in this space. Why, oh why, Minister, if you, take, if you can be bothered to take a call and respond, why is it that Māori representation on this council has been reduced to four people in Pacific? Two people. And if you expect the sector to be happy with that, that's your lot. You make of it what you can. You do what you, of it what you will. I, I say it's an insignificant step uh, back, uh, going forward in, in terms of how the government uh, proposes to, I think, infuse what is rich and vibrant uh, about uh, our, our, our place, Māori and Pacific um, contribution, uh, certainly in the arts uh, area. Mr Chair, I wanted to um, reflect on some of the young artists that have been supported by Te Wakatoi. And I think about writers and singers and artists who have all uh, received uh, sums of uh, funding to enable them to explore the, the potential of their, their art, uh, whether it be to contribute to an exhibition that's held overseas or to actually help them uh, learn uh, from other peoples, a lot of other indigenous nations, and go and share uh, their talent. These are all spaces where Te Wakatoi have seen uh, the great talent, uh, certainly that young Māori artists have been able to uh, infuse uh, their, their, um, I guess, their genre of art uh, with other peoples and other cultures. So art is just as much, just as much about an internal reflection of who we are and an external connection to who we are um, and how we connect to the rest of the world. I think this bill is a step, a step in the wrong direction. I think the fact that. Uh, the limitation of the way in which Māori and Pacific peoples contribute uh, into the art uh, sector is not uh, progressive. I don't think it will help grow uh, the, the amount of talent that we have in New Zealand in a positive direction. I would really seek an opportunity from the Minister to just get up and respond to some of these calls. Part three specifically, and, and, and the provisions of protecting the names, just doesn't make sense. Why is the government not allowing the utilisation of these names uh, beyond uh, the passage of this bill? Still silence, and the minister refuses to take a call. Why have Māori been reduced to four members on the Arts Council? when prior to that they had a council that was specifically dedicated to growing uh, that talent under Te Wakatui. No response. Why is it that the Pacific community have been reduced to having two members on the Arts Council instead of a sector that can actually grow the full vibrancy of the talent uh, that they have? Still, 
no response from the Minister. This is simply not good enough. Mr Chair, can I say that it's a step in the wrong direction? I don't think it will grow the vibrant nature of Honourable. arts, and the Minister should get up and take a call. Um, uh, Reno Terakakini. Uh, thank you, Mr Chair. 